Hi Cancer, welcome to your general tarot forecast reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. Um, personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there, ways you can donate. Um, there's a wish list also down there if you feel so inclined. So thank you so much. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you for helping the channel's growth and being a part of that, and I couldn't do it without you guys, and I truly love to do this, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, what is going on with you for the month of November? Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy November. So this will be a general tarot forecast uh, reading, but we're going to take whatever comes out. If love comes out, we'll take it. If not, if it's work, career, money, family, friends, whatever here, just going to take whatever comes out. Okay, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, planet, element. See how that um, affects you for November. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. could be a little extra... Uh, bonus for some people so please keep that in mind and this could end up being uh, something going on with someone around you someone that you know not actually about you but it could be affecting you so please keep that in mind past present or future um, energies are interchangeable only take what resonates throw away what doesn't it is a general collective reading so not every single part will resonate with every single person all right so there's your card what do we have, Cancer? The sun, which is a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So the sun is all about happiness, joy. It's about uh, you, who you are, your identity, your individuality. Um, it's also about passion and going after what you want, but all drive, ambition, uh, that fiery energy. You know, in the sun, in the major arcana, and the tarot always talks about enlightenment, healing, happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family, the whole nine yards. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on. So some of you, you could even have Leo in your chart or know somebody that has Leo in their chart. If not, that's totally fine. So and this could be uh, just telling you because, you know, people always go by their sun sign. So the sun is actually like who you are, your identity, your individuality, being true to who you are, being authentic, and that sort of energy also. So let's see what's going on. And I just noticed here, Cancer, you're four, and the sun is 13, one and three is four. So we got four, four there. And if you add four, four, that's eight. And eight is all, always about um, action, movement, travel of some kind, communication. All right, so let's see. Let's get an opening message for you. What is the opening message for Cancer for November? What is the opening message for Cancer for November, Spirit, please? Oh, I'm going to take this one. So we have Lapaluzi. Lapis Lapaluzi. <laughs> I think is how you say this life-changing epiphany or experience it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way and you see the big sword there which definitely reminds me of the ace of swords which is all about truth and clarity a big aha epiphany mo uh, moment um it is about change it's also the sword of victory and success you know, you can use the sword to cut away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. They're clear cut communication um, and not taking any BS either. So, and purple is all about manifesting also. So you may be manifesting a life changing epiphany or experience or event. Wow. All right. So let's get one now for your energy. For your energy and then we'll clarify that with the tarot so what else for cancer's energy for november i'll take that one we have aquamarine divine life purpose wow 
trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment so some people here are now having a life-changing epiphany experience and now really wanting to live out their divine life purpose knowing what their life purpose is what they need to do what they want to do what changes they need to make moving uh, forward purple again is about you know that manifestation work let's see what's on the bottom of the deck rotocrosite be gentle with yourself you've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover so this could be why you're making these changes it's because you've been you've been through it you whatever you've uh it could be career it could be whatever here a relationship whatever it's been tough it's been a battle and now you just need to be gentle with yourself heal um and recover from whatever it is uh, you're going through or you have been through and now you're ready to make these life-changing um, steps and divine life purpose is like being true to who you really are and that's the Sun energy all right so let's see what's going on with you cancer is this a relationship is this a career change if you could be moving it could be anything here. You could be cutting out friends no longer serving you. It could be anything. All right. So, all right. This one wanted to flip. So now we have the Queen of Scrolls, which is the Queen of Swords. And it doesn't have to be, though, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, yeah. So sword and did i not say that this looked like a sword and there's no sword here but the queen of scrolls is the queen of swords so yeah being in that energy of the queen of swords <laughs> and this is spirit confirming that you know of cutting away things no longer serving you you know just standing up in your power with truth clarity and doing what you need to do for you so let's see let's get some more energy on this wow wow okay one two all right i want it'll be a clarifier i want one more one more for a clarifier take that one all right so we have the Sarnier, the King Sarjan, <laughs> the King of Mirrors, which is the King of Cups. This could be King, Queen, can be anything here. And then we have the Six of Stones. So this is um, can be male or female. It doesn't matter. What is your energy? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is being, you know, peace, harmony, uh, being in a more loving, compassionate place. And now the Six of Stones is having balance, things balancing out equal reciprocation just feeling very uh very balanced and feeling just like more peaceful within yourself harmonious more loving caring nurturing giving compassionate because you've balanced yourself out you stop for yourself you cut away things no longer serving you you have truth and clarity now you're being true to who you are with the sun and divine life purpose and I think I've been getting this a lot in your readings lately, if I remember correctly. I'll have to go back and look, but let's get more clarifiers here. The Tower. So Aries energy here doesn't have to be. The Six of Stones is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <clears throat> you know, don't get too caught up on the signs, but the Tower. Shake up, break down, something comes crumbling down. It could just be a big epiphany, aha moment. It can be um, a surprise. It can be just something, letting it just all crumble down all crumble down so you can either rebuild the same shit over or you can build something totally new <clears throat> and then we have the hangman so cancer pisces that's our energy so this is you know taking a step back going with the flow not really taking any action um, looking at every perspective like getting you know the view of like from the owl's perspective has very a precise vision it can see things clearly what 360 you know just seeing everything for what it is with the hangman and just hanging back and just looking around and saying yep yeah, okay yep yeah, i see what's going on here before you make your move before you hit with this tower moment whatever it is for you it's like it's like almost like attack mode so i don't know if you like 
cause this tower moment, you know, if you were like watching somebody <clears throat> and then all of a sudden you were just like in, not like physically attacking them, but just like, okay, attack mode <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see um, your actual situation for cancer. Cancer. It's like you were watching somebody and you, then you're like, yeah, I just saw what you did. I know what you did. You know, like just like being very upfront and honest with them. And that's the swords energy. That's that queen of swords energy. And you see the, the sun here, like his head being enlightened by the sun. It's like, it's like you, you saw like everything going on. All right, so what do we have here? So we have the world, so uh, earth energy here. So closing out cycles, so starting new cycles, growth, expansion, could be even traveling. And then the Knight of Stones, earth energy here, and that's right in the middle of your spread. And then we have the Four of Mirrors. So, you know, boredom, content, um, not really happy, not really sad. This is my block card. That's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So whatever situation you are in, again, I'm getting like this feeling of like just watching somebody. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. Is it like you were watching something or someone and find, and you know, knew, somehow knew with the owl energy there of the hangman, like seeing everything from a bird's eye perspective, it saw every little thing going on and people didn't know that or someone didn't know that. And you may have caused this tower moment by maybe confronting somebody or a situation or your employment or something where you just, just said, you know what, the hell with it. And you just confronted the whole person, place, thing, whatever it was for you. Because you were bored and you weren't happy anyway with the whole situation, wherever you were at or whatever you were doing, uh, you know, you just weren't happy anyway. You were just like blind. You're like, you know, what? I really don't care. And now it, it was, and it enabled you to have like a transformation in your life. Like now I can just end this bullshit and I could start fresh. I could start new in some way. And this is you with the Knight of Stones, Knight of Pentacles energy. That's earth energy. That's like grounding yourself like you're feeling balanced here and you're like proud of yourself like I feel so at peace now it's like you know what I just something I had to do um and now you're making positive movement forward with the knight of stones it's like you're thinking you're being practical you're being smart you're being analytical you're thinking things through you're taking a very slow approach moving forward in this new direction because the world is all about Growth, expansion, transformation, ending one thing, one cycle, starting a whole new cycle. But you're taking a slow, practical, smart approach moving forward. You weren't happy, whatever this was, you weren't happy anyway. You were like, I really don't, it's like blah, like, no, I, I just don't care. I don't care either way. <clears throat> and definitely was a life-changing experience. And, you know, maybe there were arguments, could have been a fight or something, and... You know, that's why you have healing there, you know. So now we have the two of scrolls in reverse, which is the two of swords. So the two of swords upright, um, Libra Gemini Aquarius doesn't have to be, talks about being indecisive, not being able to make a decision. It's something that you have to do, but you just can't do it. But the two of swords here is like you made the decision and it's right under the tower. So it's like you made that decision I don't think it took you long just to confront this whole situation. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> and then you have the emperor. Yeah, so Aries energy here. It doesn't have to be emperor, empress. doesn't matter. Taking control, taking charge of the situation, leading the situation. It's like, I'm just taking control, control taking charge. Um, and just, you know, I've already made the decision here by confronting this head on. I'm just going to do it. And you feel like in such a good place now, like you're, you're like proud of yourself. I feel that energy of like, I'm proud of myself. You know, this is a life changing experience. Maybe you never did anything like that before. And you're like, you know what? It's time to stand up for me, who I truly am with the sun energy and do what's right. And uh, just do it. And you mustered up all your courage here and your strength. 
in your energy from within to be in that emperor or empress energy and just take control, take the lead and just went charged head on this, whatever it was for you. All right, so let's get, I want to say advice, but I guess that's your advice. <laughs> so the five of scrolls energy here, um, your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in reverse. The Five of Scrolls Upright talks about being um, kind of like a selfish energy, like a getting ahead at all costs. You don't care how you do it, who you do it to, who you hurt. It's just like all about you and getting ahead and you don't care how you do it. Very ego, selfish kind of energy. But I don't think you did this out of like ego or pride or selfish, uh, self being selfish or anything like that. And this is the communication. This is fast action, travel, movement, and communication. And the eight of spirals is very quick. It could be traveling, movement. And I had said that you and the sun, four, four equals eight. And now we have the eight of wands confirming that for your advice. So, wow. So, and you see the sun or the moon or whatever that is uh, behind there. It looks like the sun to me, but it could be the moon. I don't know. But, yep. Yeah. I think you acted quickly on this and you didn't do it, you know, despite anybody to be mean to anybody or out of, um, being selfish or egotistical or out of pride, or you just knew it was the right thing to do and you acted quickly. Or if you haven't done this yet, this is telling you to, you know, don't worry about your pride and your ego and all that kind of energy. Just take action if you haven't already. Or this is Spirit's advice to let you know that what you did was the right thing by taking action. So, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. Well, that's too many. I want two to clarify this for their advice, Spirit, please. Way too many. All right, we'll take this one. Uh, I like it that way. I don't know if that's reversed or not. We'll see. And one more. No. One more. To clarify, oh, here we go. All right, so yeah, we have the magician, whoops, upright. So, this is about manifesting a whole brand new beginning. Now, whatever came crumbling down, whatever tower moment happened, whether you caused it or not, uh, now you're able to manifest a whole new beginning for yourself. And you may be doing something that is divinely guided for you. Uh, that is your life purpose, that you feel is your life purpose. It's not like, it's like now I can go down that avenue I've always wanted to go down. Could be, could be career, it could be, you know, eight of spirals, eight of wands can also be about traveling and movements in the world. So maybe you're physically, maybe you hate where you live and you're just physically like moving too or something like that for some of you. You could be moving overseas for some or thinking about it anyway but the seven of spirals energy here um upright fire energy here talks about being on guard defensive you know and standing up and not backing down but it's in reverse so i don't think you're you know i think you're just done defending yourself in this whole situation it's like you're tired of fighting for yourself you're tired of defending yourself um and that sort of energy. It's like you, you know, you did it with that tower moment. You confronted it head on. It's like now I'm just done. I'm done fighting. I'm done being defensive, having to defend my actions myself, whatever here, Con or constantly being on guard all the time. And whatever the situation is, it's like I'm just done with that energy. Because you got the five of scrolls and the seven of uh, spirals in reverse, so. So this is an enabling you to manifest a whole brand new beginning for yourself. All right, so let's see what your outcome will be. Possible outcome for Cancer, November, or whenever you watch this. The Empress, wow. So we had the Emperor, and now we have the Empress. So yeah, wow, you're really being in your power now, like knowing your value, your worth knowing who you truly are. Um, this is also the birth of new things, growth, expansion, embodying every single queen 
all king in the deck, you know, truth, clarity, love, compassion, peace, harmony, passion, and drive, and um, stability here. Wow. Knowing your value and your worth and just standing up for yourself. Wow. All right. And you may even, some, some of you may, uh, with the empress and the emperor there, may be opening your own uh, business or going, you know, working for yourself, being an entrepreneur kind of energy also. All right. The forest scrolls. So, you know, and again, over here, with this says, you know, be gentle with yourself, heal and recover. And the four swords here is that energy of healing, recovering, resting, rejuvenating, thinking and contemplating, not taking any action, spending some time alone. And now I feel like, you know, maybe you took some downtime after all this. It's like, you know, taking time from me, you even might have took up to four weeks off for yourself, just thinking, contemplating where you're going from here, resting, rejuvenating, you know, maybe going on vacation and traveling, doing um, different things. What else? We got one more to clarify. The High Priestess. Yeah, you listen to your gut, your intuition. This is Cancer or Pisces. Like you knew what you needed to do and you, I feel like you didn't hesitate. You listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, faith, spirituality, um, being divinely guided to do so being connected to, you know, divine energy to source and really like just having that truth and clarity here with the life changing epiphany and just the sun energy, just being, you know, true to yourself, who you are. All right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Let's get some bottom of the deck energy. So we have the queen of mirrors and that's your energy. Wow. <laughs> Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So there you are coming up right at the bottom of the deck, you know, someone's caring, loving, nurturing, giving, uh, love, emotions, uh, peace, harmony kind of energy. I feel like it's been a journey here. Like, I feel like maybe, you know, and here's the owl again, and here's the owl here. So yeah, you had a bird's eye view of everything in the moon back there. Again, we're listening to your gut and your intuition. And I do feel like maybe some of you did, you know, went on some inner journey work here or went on vacation, traveled, you know, maybe you spent some time out in nature and maybe you went hiking different places, you know, different states, different things like that. And really uh, spent quality time with you. Ten of mirrors. So, yeah, happiness, joy, total fulfillment in every single way. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing now, it's going to lead you here to the Ten of Cups. Your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Total happiness, joy, and fulfillment in every single way. And success and victory. So there you go. Fire energy. There's your success and victory and accomplishment. Page of stone. So you may have a new offer coming in. Um, a very stable, grounded offer. News. Or you may be uh, learning something new. Um, or something like that. Or even maybe even going back to school for some of you. Now the queen of spirals. So yeah, you're getting a lot of kings and queens here with the emperor and the empress. I definitely feel like here you're embodying all this energy of all the kings, all the queens, being in that empress energy, moving forward. Uh, this is the sun, Leo, Leo, Sag, Aries energy here. Being full of drive, ambition, passion, fiery energy, and being ambitious and moving forward. So, yeah, I feel like you were mentally blocked for a while here. Maybe before all this happened, you know, you were tr felt like you were trapped, blocked in this whole situation. But now you took that leap of faith. You just jumped right at it and you did what you had to do here. You knew it was moral, just and right, the right thing to do with the Hierophant. This is about morals, values, integrity, faith, spirituality, divine energy here. You knew it was exactly the right thing to do, and you took that leap. You felt you feel like, or you felt like you were trapped for a very long time in this situation. Now you're moving forward very passionately. Uh, you could be learning new things. You could be going back to school. You could have a, a stable, solid offer coming in. But you do have success and victory, fulfillment in every single way, and your energy at the bottom of being, you know, at peace 
loving, caring, compassionate, nurturing, giving, and being in that uh, happy, balanced state as with the Six of Pentacles energy here. Wow, Cancer. A lot of energy there. So I'm going to pull some extra messages for you, Cancer. If you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. You'll get a general tarot forecast for the month. You'll get also, um, I love connection energy reading. And a singles. If you're single, there's a singles reading. Who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be. And also messages from your spirit guides, messages from spirit, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, Cancer, what other extra messages do we have for Cancer for November 36th? Commitment. Hmm. So some of you may be, uh, this is, you know, a love card. You see the hearts there. 36 and 9. So maybe some of you uh, confronted your lover or your significant other or something and say, hey, you know, I want a commitment. And here's the commitment here for some of you. That could be it also because the emperor and the empress is a divine couple, can be a husband and wife. So it could be that you uh, had that life changing epiphany experience that you knew you wanted to be with this person for the rest of your life. And maybe, you know, you confronted them with the queen of swords energy. You know, that could be for some of you. This could be about, about a relationship and now finally getting that commitment that you want. Or you're very committed to your self-growth and your self-love and nurturing, caring uh, energy within yourself and moving forward now um, in your new journey. And you have 36, there are nine wishes, dreams coming true. So different uh, energies there. And you just sort of see the sun energy there also. So... For some of you, it could be about love if, or it could be about uh, self-love and being very committed to your new journey moving forward. All right. Cancer. What other messages do we have for Cancer? Rescue. So this is a feeling of being like, feeling like you're isolated and you're like far away from everything, everybody like this little island here and you feel like this could be an energy of feeling like you need to rescue somebody or you feel like you need to be rescued and we have seven there um you see this person is looking for that person and they're like waiting and seven is a divinely guided number something that's meant to be it's a very spiritual number I almost feel like this is divine energy, like looking for you so you can live, live out your life's purpose. I feel like divine came to the rescue to you and showed you the way, showed you the light. And you listened with the high priestess energy. You listened and you did exactly what divine wanted you to do, which is now in enabling you to move forward and what your true life's uh, journey is supposed to be. Could have been something that you just had to go through for a time there to learn some lessons, whatever they were. All right, so any other energy? Yeah, one ring circus here, just 15, which is six. And six, again, is a healing, balancing energy, but one ring circus is like a lot of like just commotion and you know, a lot of things going on all at once where you feel like it's just a whole circus. So it could be that whatever situation you were in before, it just felt like a one ring circus. It's like one, five, six. It's like, I got to find my, my balance, my peace, my harmony out of this situation. It's just a circus is what I'm getting. All right. So are there any other messages for cancer? Take one more. See what we get here. This way. So we have protecting treasure, 39, which is 12, which is 3, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration, learning new skills, um, people coming together. So, you know, you might have been protect. Maybe this whole situation, you were protecting something. It could have been 
It could have been something with your finances. It could have been something with a coworker. It could have been something where, you know, something wasn't just right in the whole situation. Something was, do somebody was doing something that they shouldn't have been doing or whatever here. So either you had to protect yourself or your finances or your career in some way, or maybe even a coworker or friend, which caused this whole situation. And maybe uh, you had to leave the situation because you stood up and they didn't like that. And now, you know, now you're free to do what you want. So it could be anything here. It could be protecting a relationship. Maybe it was just a, like a circus before this relationship. And now it's like, you know, it needs rescuing and it needs protective energy because it is a treasure. You maybe you maybe seen that and maybe just talking, confronting with this person. And then all of a sudden, boom, it changes everything with the world energy there. And now, you know, you have your uh, commitment. So, I mean, different messages. So you take what resonates for you and whatever it is here is a treasure. So protect it. All right, bottom of the deck here, Golden Palace. So 23, which is five, which is about change. So I definitely feel like um, there's been a lot of change. And Golden Palace here is like abundance. <laughs> so yeah, this is like being like totally abundant, stable, secure, grounded energy here. I don't know if you'll be living in a palace, but I feel like you'll be safe, secure, very grounded. There'll be growth, expansion. I don't think you're going to have to worry. Whatever your situation is moving forward, I think it's going to be golden. I think it's going to be golden moving forward. You're not really going to have to worry. You know, protect it. Don't let it get back into that one ring circus. And if you feel it's starting to go that way, time to rush in and like rescue the situation. Like, do what you need to do to, you know, so, you know solidify and keep this commitment whether you're moving forward with yourself alone. A new journey, a lover, relationship, being committed, committed to something, someone, person, place, or thing, whatever it is, whatever you did in the past was the right thing to do with you moving forward in this new direction. So whatever that means for you, and you have golden over here too. Uh, so we started with this golden card and now we're ending with the golden palace. So, wow. So <laughs> golden Golden, being golden in the month of November or beyond, Cancer. Well, Cancer, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.